สวัสดีค่ะ Hello, welcome back to our Thai language series. Today we're going to learn about the Thai to be verbs. Yes, you heard that right. Verbs in plural, because Thai uses different words depending on the situation and meaning. You'll get to know these three main verbs. เป็นอยู่คือ Each is designed for different situations and used in various contexts. Don't worry, I'll explain everything step by step. By the end of this video, you'll be amazed at how well you understand the topic. Let's get started and explore the fundamental differences between these three verbs. Before we start, I have a small favor to ask. If you find our videos helpful and want to support our mission of spreading the knowledge of Thai language, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. Engaging with our content by liking and commenting not only helps us reach more people who are eager to learn, but it also tells the YouTube algorithm to show our videos to more viewers. Thank you for your support, and now let's get started with the lesson. In Thai, ben is commonly used to discuss stable characteristics, professions, or relationships that are unlikely to change. Equivalent to the English to be, in the sense of being, this verb often links a subject to a noun or noun phrase to indicate a state or profession. For example, to say, "I am a teacher." You would say, ฉันเป็นครูฉันเป็นครู Or, he's a student. เขาเป็นนักเรียนเขาเป็นนักเรียนเขา This word means he or she. In Thai, pronouns are often gender neutral, so this can refer to either a male or a female, depending on the context. เป็น As previously explained. This verb is equivalent to the English verb to be when describing a state, profession, or permanent characteristic. นักเรียน This noun phrase means student. นัก This is a prefix used in Thai to denote a person who is an enthusiast or a practitioner of a particular profession or activity. It is similar to the English suffix er, as in worker or player. เรียน This verb means to study or to learn. When combined with na, it forms the noun student. Another and common example. ฉันเป็นคนไทยฉันเป็นคนไทย I am Thai or I am a Thai person. For another example, in Thai, to say she is a kind person, you would use the following phrase. เธอเป็นคนใจดีเธอเป็นคนใจดี Here's the breakdown of the phrase. เธอ This means she or he. As mentioned earlier, Thai pronouns are gender neutral. คน This translates to person. It is often used to describe someone's character or profession. ใจดี This is a compound adjective where ใจ means heart. D means good, so ใจดี literally means good heart and is commonly used to describe someone who is kind or generous. If you want to introduce yourself as single in Thai, you can use this sentence. ผมเป็นคนโสดครับผมเป็นคนโสดครับ I am a single person. But if someone thinks you are not single and wants to express this, they can say, "เขาไม่ใช่คนโสดค่ะเขาไม่ใช่คนโสดค่ะ He is not a single person. In Thai, the verb "you" translates to to be located or to be situated, and it's used to indicate where something or someone is. This function is similar to the to be verb in English. As it helps define the location of an object or person, here are some examples of how this verb is used for this purpose. If you want to ask where is your house, in Thai you would say, บ้านคุณอยู่ที่ไหนบ้านคุณอยู่ที่ไหน Where is your house? And if you were to indicate that an object is in the refrigerator, you would say, อยู่ในตู้เย็นอยู่ในตู้เย็น It's in the fridge. 
Additionally, you is often used to emphasize the ongoing state of an action. This usage is similar to the present continuous tense in English, providing a function akin to is doing or are doing, and this was particularly addressed in episode 13. If you are interested in learning more about this topic and haven't watched it yet, you can find the presentation in the previous section above. For another example, to say, the cat is on the table, in Thai you would say, Mao yu bon to. The cat is on the table. If you want to say, the cat is not on the table, in Thai, you would say, Mao mai yu bon to. In Thai, the verb, ku, serves as another form of the verb to be, similar to how we use is in English especially in contexts where clarification, definition, or identification is needed. This verb is often used to equate one thing with another or to define something more explicitly. Ku is used to mean is equal to or namely. It is employed when giving explanations, clarifications, and definitions. This usage makes it a crucial part of constructing clear and informative statements especially when you want to define or identify something specifically. Unlike many other verbs, it does not appear in negative forms, which means it is always used in a positive context to affirm or clarify something. For example, if you want to introduce someone or something by explaining their role or what they represent, you would use ku. Here's how you might see it used. This is a book. For another example, to say, this animal is an elephant, you would say, In this sentence, Sat means animal. Is a classifier used for animals in Thai, similar to head in English when counting animals as one head of cattle. Ni means this and is used to indicate a specific thing or object that is close to the speaker or in the immediate context. Ku translates as is in English, used here as a linking verb to equate the subject with the predicate in the sentence. Tang means elephant. So the complete translation of is this animal is an elephant. Let's look at another example. To say, this is my friend in Thai, you would say, In this sentence, means friend. Kong is a possessive marker, equivalent to of in English. Chan means I or me, used here to indicate possession, so it translates to my. Bonus tip. In Thai, me generally means to have. However, it is also used to indicate existence, similar to there is or there are in English, meaning that something is located or exists somewhere. For example, Hong ni mi to. Hong ni mi to. There is a table in this room. This tip can help you understand the expression forms in Thai and enhance your language skills. Important note, when using adjectives in Thai, they directly modify the noun without the need for the verb to be. This reflects a key grammatical structure in Thai where adjectives also act as verbs that imply the state of being themselves. Here you go. Now you are better equipped to use the Thai to be verbs correctly. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try to use these verbs in your everyday Thai conversations. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write to us in the comments. We are happy to respond. See you in the next lesson with new and exciting topics. I wish you lots of luck and fun on your journey to learning Thai.